for REST API's automation framework, I'm going to use the open source version of REST API's request.in. Here we can cover a few of the endpoints like create, update, delete, get single user and get list of users. Now let us move to create a new project. I'm going to create .NET Core class library project. Here I can provide the path and project name, you can follow naming convention as per your convenience. I can say API dot automation. Just to make solution name different, I can add demo. Click next. Target framework for me with Visual Studio, I have .NET Core 3.1. For you, it may be different. You can select .NET Core version as per your Visual Studio or whatever the version of .NET Core you is available on your system. Click Create. So once it created the project, we'll start implementation of our automation framework. So for this API automation framework, we are going to add few NuGet packages. For now, I will add Rest sharp So latest version of Rest sharp is 108.0.3 and I can select the the project All right it is installed The next thing which I I'm going to install is Newton sobbed Jason. Okay, so for now, these two are required. We'll ins install other new NuGet packages as per our requirement as we progress in the course. Now what I can do, I can delete this project, sorry, the class. I'll add a new interface. And I will talk about like why I'm going to add a interface here. I would name it as I API client. I will create the abstract methods for our endpoints. So first abstract method which I'm going to create is create user. And these abstract methods would be uh, generic. So for the post request, I require payload. So I can pass the payload of type, the model which I will pass. And I want to restrict this T as a class. So I can say where T is class. The response type would be a task. REST response, 
as it is async await implementation, we have to use task rest response. And we have to imp import this. And we have to import the REST response as well from REST shop. In the similar way, I have to create abstract methods for other APIs. REST response. I can say update user. Here, I would require payload. To update a user, we need ID as well, right? So in the URI, we have to pass the user ID. So I can pass a parameter here as an ID along with the payload. And again, I can say where T is class. Let us uh, create few other abstract methods. And I can say delete user. And here I just need to pass the ID, which user I want to delete. As we can see in the documentation, right? So we have to pass this user ID to delete the user. And a abstract method to get user. So if you want to get a single user, I need to pass the ID as well, which user I want to get. And from where I get these details, again, from the documentation. So here I need to pass the user ID. There is one more list of user a get endpoint, which uses this query parameter. So let us include this as well to see like how we can add the query parameters in into the our request. So let us create a new abstract method. And I can say get list of users. And here we can say as a query parameter, we need to pass the page number. So what I can say, this abstract method, we will use the parameter page number so now we have separated or i can say created an interface where i have added few abstract methods now i'm going to create a api client class where where i'll implement this interface 